Hey everyone and welcome back to the X-Ring. So in today's episode, we're gonna have mini X-Ring here do some pistol work. So it took us a while to get this, uh, this pistol belt set up. I'll show you how we did that. And then getting the holster set up. And then what we'll also do is we'll talk about the grip and everything else, because you gotta remember, working with someone that's younger, especially someone that's a woman, is gonna have much smaller hands. So how they manipulate the pistol is gonna be a lot differently than, than those of us with larger hands. Uh, so what we're going to do is we will work on sight picture, side alignment, grip, stance, everything else, and we will shoot at the target there. Now, what I've done is, is you always want to do that aim small, miss small type thing. So I've put a little bullseye in the center of it. We're going to start her off at 10 yards. I just want to see what kind of group she can do. Uh, you haven't shot a pistol in probably two years or longer, three years? Three years. Yeah, about three years or so. Uh, I, I did let her... And my wife experienced that for a little bit just so they were kind of comfortable with how a firearm feels but never something like this so let's let's see what happens all right so we have the belt all set up we have the holster set up she is going to be shooting the akai today it's a heavier pistol but that way i can always go lighter if i like i would probably recommend going with something like a striker fire for getting started uh, i think she'll be okay with this though and let's go ahead and work on that draw if you will watch muzzling your leg all right, hold on. Just remember, just push straight down. Okay. Put it back in. Okay, so you're muzzling your foot. Kick that hip out, just like that. Okay? All right, so first thing we're going to do is work on that draw. So go ahead and put your hand, establish that master grip, straight down with the thumb. And this is the problem you're going to see, especially with smaller hands, is that grip right there is not high enough. She really needs to get that hand up higher. Uh, immediately make sure that they are not getting their finger in that trigger guard and that it's just along the side of the pistol like that. We've already checked it. We've cleared it a hundred times. Let's go ahead and reholster. Okay, push straight down, establish that master grip. What we want to do is get the webbing of the hand in here closer. So let me get, grab this camera. So what she was doing first, go ahead and grip. This is what she was doing at first, okay? We want to get that webbing higher push straight down with the thumb, and then we draw. This left hand is gonna be up close somewhere here on the belly, and then that way when she draws, go ahead and grip it, draw. That hand can immediately come up to start to support. Now, if we roll this over, what I'm looking for and what I'm gonna have her do is just fill this void right here with the palm. And especially when you're working with smaller hands, let's go ahead and drive those thumbs forward just a little bit, there you go, just like that. So that would be a good grip. So what we're going to do is now we're going to get her on paper and see how that goes. All right, guys, so another consideration is when using Ear Pro, ear rings are going to break that seal on hearing protection. I do recommend, especially with someone that's younger, maybe go ahead and let them double up to put some soft ears in first because this is an area, this is a time you really don't want to damage their hearing. So we're going to go ahead and get her up with eye protection, ear protection, and let's get some rounds on target. All right, guys, so this will be the size target that we're shooting at, just a standard uh, IPSC target. Uh, you have your A-zone. This way she kind of sees because uh, in the A-zone, guys, you can't see the perforation, but it is a rectangle here, okay? A-zone means you're not going to lose any points or down points. Now, in three-gun, all it takes is one in the center. If you're shooting something else, you have to shoot multiples. Um, you have a B zone on this tart, or C zone rather, that comes down into here. I'm just showing you guys the outlines. And this would be the C zone. This actually turns into another A right here. You guys can see this. So that's an A. This is an A. This is a C. And then this area out here is the D. Now, as long as that bullet breaks the perforation, you are good. And you get full value for it. Now, in three gun... All it takes is one bullet in an A zone or two anywhere on the paper. You could actually have an impact over here and over here and still be good in three gun. But we don't want to work on speed right now. Right now, we just want to work on accuracy. So what you're going to do on this Miss Mini X-Ring is you're going to line the sights up. Now, the rear sight is on that pistol. It's going to be a blade sight, very similar to this, with a U-groove. or a uh, This one actually has a square groove in it, okay? Your front sight needs to be dead center of that groove. So you need to have equidistant gap left and right side of that front post. 
And that front post is really what you want to concentrate on most. Now, guys, this is the most important thing. If you put a straight edge directly along the top, that's what we're looking for here. You're not going to be able to concentrate on the rear sight and have it focused or the front sight and have it focused. You got to choose one or the other. Your eyes like a camera. You have to focus on a certain focal plane. So the most important thing to focus on is which sight, the front sight or the rear sight? The rear sight, no, you want to do the front sight. So the front sight, the little post here, should be crystal clear. And what you want to do on this pistol is actually put this directly across this. So now we're just moving everything up so that we have that gap with the front sight and the rear blade here. That would be your sight alignment for it, okay, and what the okay. picture would look like. So we'll see how she does. We're going to start her off at 10 yards. I recommend most people starting off at 5 yards. Like I said, she has shot a pistol before, but it's been a long time. It's just going to be a 9mm, and we're not going to work on any type of rapid fire or anything else. I just want to work on body position. It is a very heavy pistol. We'll see how she does at 10 yards. All right, guys. So from that target here, walking, 10 yards is this little stick right here. So that's where she's going to start. There are no impacts on this paper here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over loading the pistol and we'll get her putting some rounds on target. All right. So she has her eyes and ears on. Let's go ahead and present the pistol. It is empty. Remember, establish that master grip. Keep the muzzle down range. Let's go ahead and take your magazine. And remember to keep that finger on the front of the magazine. Go ahead and pull the magazine straight up. And guys, what we're talking about is keeping that finger on top like that. That will help index when she puts it in the mag well. Go ahead and insert. Okay. Safety has to be off in order to rack it. So go ahead and take your safety off. Go ahead and rack and release. Safety back on. And I don't want you to reholster. But what we're going to do is we have the feet about a shoulder width apart. Shoulders are slightly forwards. Don't lean, but rather bend at the waist. Let's go ahead and bring that pistol up. Okay, let's go ahead and do that hand like that. Let's take the safety off. All right, we're going hot. Let the pistol recoil smooth on the black dot. Nice. Again, it's just outside of the black dot. Smooth. Nice. Again, smooth. Concentrate on that front sight, keeping it level. Nice. Safety on. And finger off the trigger, of course. Holster and pull the hood up. So, guys, that was her first three shots. She actually did really well with that. Um, her first shot was good. Second shot was good. And that's typically what's going to be the case with most newer shooters. But then that dreaded anticipation of recoil starts to come in. So on her third shot, she yanked it low. In her case, it was to the right instead of to the left like most right-handed shooters do. So let's go ahead and up here and take a look. So at 10 yards, let's come on up here, mini X. So her first shot was here, second shot was here, third shot, that's where that anticipation came in. And that's what we've got to get on top of now. Now's the time to do this. Feet about her shoulder width apart. Okay, so this time what I want you to do is really work on letting the pistol recoil do its thing. Your only job is to keep that front sight crystal clear, okay? I want everything really close to that black circle, okay? The pistol's still hot. Go ahead and establish that master grip. Left hand is forwards of the belly here so it can intersect and assist you. And as soon as you start to punch out on target, let's go ahead and get that safety off. Yeah, it's just a gnat. It'll go away. All right, safety off. Bend at the waist. Bring it up. Finger touches the trigger. You're going to take up some slack. Smooth. When it hits the wall, really good again concentrate on the front sight crystal clear you touch the wall smooth excellent and one more time touch smooth wall front sight. safety on and finger off the trigger and holster so just kind of walking her through the steps now she is all over that black dot i've already ma uh, marked the last ones from the last session when we just shot that you guys saw and guys this is these are the first six rounds she's actually shot so what we've got now is we've got horizontal stringing which i'm okay with that is just going to be the relationship of that front sight but what we've done is we've gotten away from that anticipation and so we've got one 
two, three. Now, this pistol is really heavy, but I, I've seen what I need to see. Good job. Let's go ahead and work on some steel. All right, so she did the three. We've got that kind of sorted out. She did the other three. And we can't do too much at one time, especially with a newer shooter. You don't want them drinking from a fire hose, okay? Uh, you wouldn't want to drink from a fire hose. It's too much information at once. So what we're going to do is we're just going to work on some steals. We're not going to work on reloads. We're not going to work on movement or anything like that. It's just way too far advanced. Guys, she's grown up around us shooting. So she has had that advantage of seeing how things are done. Um, but like I said, she has no real world experience shooting pistols a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the steals. I'm going to have you initially start on the left and work your way to the right. Okay. okay? So let's go ahead and get those feet about a shoulder width apart. Shoulders are slightly forward of the hips. You want to bend at the waist. All right. And in a slow motion, let's go ahead and draw the pistol. Left hand intercepts. Let's get up on the first steel. Safety off at this point. Smooth first steel. Nice. Go to the next steel. Smooth. Let the pistol do the work. Nice. Guys, we are at 12 yards right now. Excellent. All right, let's concentrate. We want to get all six of these. First run. Nice. Okay, now stop. Safety on. Now stop. Hold on. Let's keep it out on target. Let's say that was the end of the array, guys. What we're going to say, if you are finished, unload and show clear. So what I want you to do is you're going to press this button and grab the magazine. Press this button in. Okay, now you still have one in the chamber. It will fire. Let's go ahead and tuck this away. Guys, this is one of the most important things. Everybody wants to catch their bullet and be fancy with it and all that. Now, you're not going to be able to rack it with the safety on. Let's go ahead and push the safety off. What I want you to do is rack it, let that bullet fly out. Okay, now just hold it back to the rear. Nope. The RO needs to be able to see into the chamber. Slide forward. And when they say slide forward, you can release it. Okay. And then they're going to say hammer down. So what I want you to do is not in the air, not over to the left or to the right. Somewhere out there, what I want you to do is just dry fire it. Finger off the trigger and holster. This assures everyone that the pistol is now clear and that we can go down range and check the targets. So that was really good Mini X. Um, I don't want to work on anything else today. Right now, I'm just getting you comfortable with the pistol manipulation. You did a really, really good job. I was actually a little impressed with that. So um, this is what we're going to do. And what we'll do is we'll keep working on the pistol. I believe pistol is the core fundamental for all of three gun. You have to be able to shoot a pistol well to do well. The shotgun will be okay. The rifle will be okay. They have longer sight radiuses. I know that she can handle the 12, 20 gauge now. Is it a little tender? Mm -hmm. Are you having fun with it? Mm -hmm. The biggest thing, guys, is you got to make it fun for them, okay? You always have to keep it safe and make sure that they understand what all of those rules guys, are. Guys, you all know Rick with Is Your Six Covered, and he can tell you. Uh, she, he shoots with me every day. <laughs> Ella hasn't shot a pistol it's been in three, years. three years. indoor match one time a long, long time ago, and it was her last time she ever shot. Um, she, uh, I guess, what's the word for it? She wanted to shoot like Dad and everybody else, and she had, she was shooting in the correct direction, but it was like, ta da, ta da, ta da, ta da, and I was like, all right, that's it, too soon, and we're gonna stop. So she's yeah. not fired since then. Yeah, so, um, yeah. so she has had a little bit of experience way back in the day, but you got to remember, I mean, she was 10 years old. <laughs> so I was actually excited to see that everything remained the same. All it takes is a little bit of instruction, but she was still be able, she was still able to hit her targets. Oh, for sure. uh, there were no second takes. As a matter of fact, we shot a total of six, 12 rounds today. 12 rounds, that's and that's it. So that's it. fundamental. I, I'm happy with how it's starting off. I'm excited about she this. She is actually excited about it. Like, share, subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.